Today's topic is about biosynthesis of cholesterol. So how cholesterol is synthesized inside our body. So here a structure of cholesterol which is containing total 27 carbon. Now all these 27 carbon of cholesterol is derived from the acetyl CoA. Already we are knowing that acetyl CoA that is 2 carbon containing molecule which is derived inside our body with the help of beta oxidation of fatty acid. Now this acetyl CoA for the formation of this acetyl CoA beta oxidation that is occurring inside the mitochondria. Now this cholesterol synthesis that is occurring in cytoplasm and endoplasmic reticulum. Now all these nucleated cell can synthesize cholesterol including arterial wall. So each and every nucleated cell that can generate cholesterol molecule. Predominantly it is synthesized inside the liver, adrenal cortex, testes, ovaries and intestine. So the main site of the cholesterol synthesis. Now step by step we will look how this exactly cholesterol is synthesized. So basic need of the acetyl CoA for the formation of cholesterol. This acetyl CoA is generally formed inside the mitochondria. Now this acetyl CoA that is impermeable from the mitochondrial membrane. So it will be transported with the help of citrate subtle system. This citrate is again broken down in the cytoplasm with the help of ATP citrate lyase enzyme. So this acetyl CoA is generally provided by the ATP citrate lyase in the cytoplasm. Now such two molecule of acetyl CoA that will combine and it will combine with the help of acetoacetyl CoA synthase. It is synthase enzyme. Now this combination will make acetoacetyl CoA. All these reactions occurring inside the cytoplasm. Now this process is called the condensation of the acetyl CoA. Further more condensation will occur. So one more acetyl CoA molecule will attach over the acetoacetyl CoA. So it will produce HMG CoA. A full form of HMG that is beta hydroxy beta methyl glutyl CoA and for that enzyme needed that is HMG CoA synthase. So here initial two reaction that is acetoacetyl CoA synthase H HMG CoA synthase that is just similar as a ketone body formation but what is the difference these two reaction is occurring in the cytoplasm for the cholesterol formation while all the reaction of ketone body formation that is occurring inside the mitochondria of particularly liver cell. Now furthermore this explanation is most important mitochondria this enzyme mitochondrial origin they are mostly responsible for the ketogenesis and same enzyme which are present in cytoplasm they are responsible for the cholesterol synthesis. Now further this HMG CoA will be converted into a molecule that is called a mevalonate and this formation of mevalonate occurring with the help of HMG CoA reductase enzyme. During this process important molecule that is NADPH is needed. Now this conversion of HMG CoA to the mevalonate that is occurring inside the microsomal or it is occurring inside the endoplasmic reticulum and this reaction is particularly a rate limiting step for this cholesterol formation which is differing from this ketone body formation to the cholesterol formation. So it is a rate limiting step you have to remember enzyme that is HMG CoA reductase it is many times asked in the MCQ. Now this mevalonate that will attach with the 3 ATP molecule so for 1 ATP then it will make uh, phosphomevalonate then 2 ATP then pyrophosphomevalonate 3 ATP so it is making 3 phospho 5 pyrophosphomevalonate which is containing total 6 carbon so this 6 carbon molecule will be converted into the 5 carbon most important molecule that is called isopentanyl pyrophosphate and that is reaction is called a decarboxylation reaction with the help of decarboxylase enzyme so up to here all these together consider as a first phase of the cholesterol synthesis. So what you have to remember total 3 molecule of acetyl CoA. So initial 2 will combine and make acetoacetyl CoA. Next one more attached and making HMG CoA. So total 2 plus 2 plus 2 6 carbon. This 6 carbon is converted into the mevalonate. 
with the help of that key enzyme HMG coa reductase this mevalonate 6 carbon is converted into the most important molecule of this cholesterol synthesis that is called isopentanyl pyrophosphate now next you have to remember this 5 carbon molecule that is isopentanyl pyrophosphate so this next step that is isopentanyl pyrophosphate is converted into a similar type of structure that is called a dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate so there is a just structural changes is occurring with the help of enzyme that is isomerase both are containing 5 carbon that is isopentanyl pyrophosphate and dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate now both these combine this dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate and isopentanyl pyrophosphate will combine and make a 10 carbon molecule and that is called a garenyl pyrophosphate now this 10 carbon will further combine with one more molecule of isopentanyl pyrophosphate during th this time one pyrophosphate molecule is removed so it is converted into the 15 carbon molecule that is furnacyl pyrophosphate here one trick is that 15 so you can remember that furnacyl pyrophosphate now such two molecule of furnacyl pyrophosphate means 15 carbon plus 15 carbon and that will make a 13 car 30 carbon molecule that is squalene with the help of squalene synthase enzyme again that one pyrophosphate molecule is removed so that furnacyl pyrophosphate plus furnacyl pyrophosphate that will make squalene and all these together is called as a condensation of 5 carbon unit so here exactly what happening initially 5 carbon molecule total 6 number of 5 carbon units are condensed that is in the manner of initial isopentanyl pyrophosphate plus dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate that is 5 carbon plus 5 carbon that will make 10 carbon that is garenyl, garenyl pyrophosphate this garenyl pyrophosphate is again combined with the isopentanyl pyrophosphate and it will make 15 carbon furnacyl pyrophosphate now this furnacyl pyrophosphate such two molecule of furnacyl pyrophosphate is combined and make a 30 carbon squalene now this squalene is a linear structure so it will be cyclized already we have seen a structure of cholesterol which is containing three six membrane ring structure and one five carbon ring structure so it is cyclized so initially that squalene which is linear structure will be converted into the squalene epoxide with the help of epoxidase enzyme here NADPH and one oxygen molecule is needed all these that squalene and squalene epoxide they are the 30 carbon molecule this squalene epoxide is converted or it is cyclized and that cyclase enzyme is needed for the cyclization of the squalene epoxide so lenosterol is generated so lenosterol that is the first sterol compound or sterol molecule which is in a cyclic manner so first steroid compound that is considered as a lenosterol now this lenosterol is further converted into the gymosterol desmosterol and cholesterol now next we will look how this lenosterol is converted into the gymosterol desmosterol and cholesterol so first that lenosterol which is containing total 30 carbon so here 27 carbon you can see but over the fourth carbon and 14 carbon you can see that additional that methyl group is attached so overall this lenosterol that is containing 30 carbon so all this methyl group which is attached over the fourth carbon and 14 carbon that is removed so it is converted into a gymosterol so that methyl group which is attached over the fourth and 14 carbon is removed and converted into the gymosterol now what happened over the gymosterol there is a particular double bond which is present over the 8 and 9 carbon between the 8 and 9 carbon that double bond that is shifted to the 5th and 6th carbon so this double bond shifting that will be lead to the formation of the desmosterol now this desmosterol is also important because this desmosterol is present in fetal brain but it is not present in adult brain it will be reappear in brain when there is a gliomas that is brain tumor so desmosterol is not present in normal adult person furthermore this desmosterol that is also containing one double bond over the side chain of the this molecule so this side chain that is eight carbon side chain that is containing one double bond that will be again reduced by the NADPH when cholesterol is formed 
so this side chain which is containing double bond that will be reduced with the help of nadph and lastly that cholesterol molecule is generated so that is how exactly this cholesterol molecule is generated so all carbon of this cholesterol molecule that is derived from the acetyl coa